child has been a disappointment to the news broadcasters because we were repeatedly told that there would be no carriage. We were repeatedly told that there would be a mandated EPG or menu system which has not been delivered. These two things add up to huge financial burdens on broadcasters, especially news broadcasters. The industry that is contrary to public expect, you know, assumption, not doing at all well, that is facing huge financial burdens. Many channels have been going bankrupt. And in this industry, which is also so important to our nation as democracy, we have been placed this huge and unfair financial burden. I think the other is issues are really about uh, the willingness and the commitment with which the policy can be rolled out on the ground. Um, because this is going to be disruptive, it's going to disrupt some vested interests, it's going to disrupt a regular way of doing business, and therefore there's going to be a natural pushback. But the concept of digitization is superb. It is wonderful that the government has pushed for this and that the regulators pushed for this. But there's been some imperfections in what they presented, largely around, as I said, um, from our industry's point of view, carriage and uh, the uh, mandated EPG. The other thing that doesn't seem to make a lot of economic or common sense to me is how the price was set so low uh, for free channels and for pay channels. Because a lot of the industries, the entire industry's problems stem from the fact that the consumer is be literally being subsidized by paying such low prices for content which in every other country costs so much more. And how this uh, price has been set, by whom and who's paying for the inherent subsidy in this is something that has not been, there's not been enough transparency on this. I think we'll have to explain to TRA in the ministry just what the imperfections in this otherwise very positive bill are uh, and how they will create a huge financial burden for news broadcasters, how it will push us towards bankruptcy, how it will stop us from being able to create quality content and how it will in fact stop us from growing. If the government is interested in inclusive growth, news broadcasters play a very valuable role in this industry and this nation and you know our growth, our financial concerns should be given some, some uh, acknowledgement and, and should be addressed in at least some manner, uh, both by TRA and the government. Everything is achievable if the intent is there. Um, there may be some practical concerns, but let's be realistic. While the policy has been presented now, we knew for six or seven months this was going to happen. I'm not sure if MSOs and LSOs spent adequate amounts of money, time and effort on preparing for this day which they knew was coming. And now they are saying this day has come and we need more time. We have seen um, consistent attempts to delay digitization. Um, I think we should have very little patience with more delays.